Archbishop Tutu, the last surviving South African laureate of the Nobel Peace Prize, passed away in Cape Town at the age of 90. In a statement on Sunday, Minister in the Presidency Monli Kangyubil said President Cyril Ramaphosa expresses. On behalf of all South Africans, his profound sadness at the passing today, Sunday, December 26, 2021, of Archbishop Emeritus Desmond Bilo Tutu. Archbishop Tutu, the last surviving South African laureate of the Nobel Peace Prize passed away in Cape Town at the age of 90. President Ramaphosa expresses his heartfelt condolences to Mem Lea Tutu, the Tutu family, the board and staff of the Desmond and Lea Tutu Legacy Foundation, the elders and Nobel laureate group, and the friends, comrades and associates nationally and globally of the iconic spiritual leader, anti-apartheid activist and global human rights campaigner. Ramaphosa said, the passing of Archbishop Emeritus Desmond Tutu is another chapter of bereavement in our nation's farewell to a generation of outstanding South Africans who have bequeathed us a liberated essay. Desmond Tutu was a patriot without equal, a leader of principle and pragmatism who gave meaning to the biblical insight that faith without works is dead. A man of extraordinary intellect, integrity and invincibility against the forces of apartheid, he was also tender and vulnerable in his compassion for those who had suffered oppression, injustice and violence under apartheid. An oppressed and downtrodden people around the world. He said as the chairperson of the Truth and Reconciliation Commission. He articulated that universal outrage at the ravages of apartheid and touchingly and profoundly demonstrated the depth of meaning of Ubuntu. Reconciliation and forgiveness. He placed his extensive academic achievements at the service of our struggle and at the service of the cause for social and economic justice the world over. From the pavements of resistance in SA to the pulpits of the world's great cathedrals and places of worship and the prestigious setting of the Nobel Peace Prize ceremony, the Arch distinguished himself as a non-sectarian, inclusive champion of universal human rights. In his richly inspiring yet challenging life, Desmond Tutu overcame tuberculosis, the brutality of the apartheid security forces and the intransigence of successive apartheid regimes. Neither Caspers, tear gas nor security agents could intimidate him or deter him from his steadfast belief in our liberation. He remained true to his convictions during our democratic dispensation and maintained his vigor and vigilance as he held leadership and the burgeoning institutions of our democracy to account in his inimitable, inescapable and always fortifying way. We share this moment of deep loss with Memlia Tutu, the Archbishop's soulmate and source of strength and insight, who has made a monumental contribution in her own right to our freedom and to the development of our democracy. We pray that Archbishop Tutu's soul will rest in peace but that his spirit will stand sentry over the future of our nation. He said as the chairperson of the Truth and Reconciliation Commission. He articulated the universal outrage at the ravages of apartheid and touchingly and profoundly demonstrated the depth of meaning of Ubuntu, reconciliation and forgiveness. He placed his extensive academic achievements at the service of our struggle and at the service of the cause for social and economic justice the world over. From the pavements of resistance in SA to the pulpits of the world's great cathedrals and places of worship and the prestigious setting of the Nobel Peace Prize ceremony, the Arch distinguished himself as a non-sectarian inclusive champion of universal human rights. In his richly inspiring yet challenging life, Desmond Tutu overcame tuberculosis, the brutality of the apartheid security forces and the intransigence of successive apartheid regimes. Neither Caspers, tear gas nor security agents could intimidate him or deter him from his steadfast belief in our liberation. He remained true to his convictions during our democratic dispensation and maintained his vigor and vigilance as he held leadership and the burgeoning institutions of our democracy to account in his inimitable, inescapable and always fortifying way. We share this moment of deep loss with Memlia Tutu, the Archbishop's soulmate and source of strength and insight, who has made a monumental contribution in her own right to our freedom and to the development of our democracy. We pray that Archbishop Tutu's soul will rest in peace but that his spirit will stand sentry over the future of our nation.